Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, I'm looking at a puzzle called uh, Seeing Double by James Cop today. And I have had a moment of utter confusion. James sent us two puzzles in an email with what I now realize are very slightly different rule sets. And I've just been rereading the rules of this and being utterly confused. Okay. I will explain that in a moment, um, but if you play this puzzle immediately, just read the rule set carefully, that's all I'll say. You, you won't have my confusion. I'll tell you what I might do, <coughs> assuming this solve goes okay, I might put the other puzzle up on Patreon so you can have a go at it there if you're with us on Patreon. Do join us on Patreon. Um, at the start of next month, in about three days' time, we will be releasing a new tennis-themed Sudoku hunt. Um, created by ourselves, along with Glum Hippo, who's done most of it, and tested by Grockles, so there's your assurance of quality. Um, we're looking forward to bringing you that, and what else have we got? I mean, that's some of the stuff that goes up on Patreon every month, but as I say, there's often other content, and it's well worth joining for 2 or $3 a month, very good value. Now, also good value are our apps, and we have... No, we don't have any X sums or little killer apps. So this is a good, good one to test your skills on, a different variant from any of the apps. But they're great practice for all sorts of variants and generally for logical thinking. So you are very welcome to um, have a go at some of those and loads of other stuff if you go to Discord or if you get Sven Sudoku Pad or if you buy our merchandise. All of these are links under the video. Do try them all. The first link is to this puzzle called Seeing Double, and I'll explain about the rules in a minute. Now, James Cop is someone, just recently I was doing a puzzle by James Sinclair and uh, apologizing to him because I thought he had done difficult puzzles in the past. He might have done one or two, but it's not his stock in trade. Now with James Cop, they're on the sort of medium to pretty hard region. So let's be warned as we try this puzzle that that might apply. Now, the rules are these. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. A number outside the grid. Now, the numbers outside the grid are doing double duty. They are an X sum for the column or row, and also a little killer clue for the indicated diagonal. So let's look at this 29. For this column, it's an X sum clue, and X is the first digit in the column. So if X was, let's say it was a four, these four digits, oops, these four, first four digits, that number given by the X, add up to 29. So that's how an X sum clue works. And these, all of these numbers outside the grid have two roles. One is an X sum. So the first X digits in this row add up to 16. So that might be a three. And then they would add up to 16. Now, the other role is using the arrow the first roll didn't use the arrow, the other one does. This is summing the total of this diagonal. So these seven cells will add up to 29. Now they can include repeats, there's no problem there. Um, and the reason I had the confusion was in the other puzzle James sent us, and the one that I'll be putting on Patreon. Um, what it was doing was an X sum clue for the diagonal. So that might have said four, and then these four digits would add up to 29. And that's different. And that's what I was thinking I was seeing here. And I've just read the rules before starting the video and realized we've got different rules this time. We've got proper, if you like, little killer clues. So they add up to 12, they add up to seven. There's no X in the little killer aspect. So, for instance, this cell does not add, act as an X in this puzzle at all. This cell acts as an X in the 9 clue, but not in the 16 clue. Isn't that weird? Okay, well, it's probably not weird if you haven't seen the first puzzle or the other puzzle. But I had. Well, I mean, I'd seen it in the sense that I'd read its rules and I'd assumed these were the same. I've got it now. Looking at straight little killers. If I have this confusion during the solve, this is why. Anyway. Enough caveats and uh, warning you off my bad solving. What I'm going to do is start the clock and say, let's get cracking. Um, 
So, we've got the straight little killer clues. I, I think the seeing double is because in the other puzzle I noticed there were nines opposite each other. Yes, and these nines are important. Yes. The nine, oh well, this gives you a clue to the other puzzle perhaps, if I'm right. The, other, the nines are important because what X can accompany a nine? It can only be two or three, and why is that? You can't have a 1 in... I'm, I'm considering this 9x sum clue for this row from the left. You can't have a 1 here, because then you'd be only adding one cell and you'd get to a total of 1. 2 or 3 are fine. If you had a 4, you'd be adding 4 cells, and the minimum total for 4 different cells is 10, and that's too many. So obviously that problem gets worse if you go higher than four. So the number here is two or three, and therefore the number on the other side of the grid is two or three as well. And one of these is a two and will be accompanied by a seven in the next cell to make the sum work. The other one will be a three and will be accompanied by a one five pair. Now I know it's, that's all it must be because the only other possibility is a two four pair. And wherever the 3 is, it will have a 2 opposite it in the row. So you can't repeat that 2. So I guess the next digit along is always going to be 1, 5, or 7. I thought this would give us a bigger start. The 2 or 3 is not very helpful in that 16 sum. 1, 5, or 7 is not very helpful in this 30 sum. Actually, these larger little killer clues... And I barely know what they're going to do for us at all. Ah, this 9 sum is either 2, 3, 4 or 1, 2, 6. There are three ways of making 9 in three cells that have to be different. One is 1, 3, 5. And that obviously doesn't apply here because of the 5 in the box already. So this is either 2, 3, 4 or 1, 2, 6. And there's definitely a 2 in that calculation. I am just going to colour some of these diagonals because I'll, otherwise I'll just forget that they're relevant. The 30, let's do that in blue. And the 29, yeah, that's interesting that they cross over each other a bit. I don't know, I mean, I just want to not, not forget that those diagonals exist. I'm more conditioned to look at X sum clues. Oh, well, I say that and I hadn't noticed this 7. <laughs> This is very straightforward. We said that a 9 couldn't begin with 1, and it can't begin with 4 or 5 or anything higher. The same is certainly true of a 7 clue, but it also can't begin with 3, because the only way to make up 7 in three different numbers is 1, 2, 4, which does not include that x3 putative number. So that's a 2, followed by a 5, and we've done that 7 clue. Ah, now, somebody did suggest to me a way of showing um, when I have done a clue that matters outside the grid. Look, that X, I've ticked off that X. Uh, I've ticked off that 7X sum clue. Ah, and this 7 uh, little killer clue, and that's now either 1, 6 or 3, 4. And this is 12, so these two add up to 10. This can't, oh, this can't be a 2, so that there is a 2 in one of those two cells. Oh, and this 26 sum, right, what's this? Because this can't be a 5. Yeah, actually, what I sometimes do in X sum puzzles and haven't on this one is work out minima and maxima for the X's, and that's probably quite important. So let's look at this 26 clue. Could it be a 4 here? And the answer is yes, those three would add up to 22. Now, it can't be a 5 by Sudoku, so can it be a 6? Definitely. Um, now, there's a secret that I'm going to use to help work out what the numbers not in the X sum are in the column. And that secret refers to the fact that every row, column, and box in a Sudoku adds up to the same number. And I am prepared to let you know 
because you're special what that number is. And it's 45. Every row, column and box adds up to 45 because that's the sum of 1 to 9. Now, if this is a 6, then these 6 cells add up to 26. And that means these 3 add up to 19. Now, that is very possible. What is not possible is for this to be a 7 because then those 2 have to add up to 19 and that's too many. So this is either 6 or 4. Now, what happens if it's 4? Actually, that's quite interesting. Oh, this is very interesting, and it's not a 4. Lovely. This is lovely. Look, I said these 3. Because if this is a 4, these 4 add up to 26. So deduct the 4. These 3 add up to 22, if we have a 4 at the bottom. Now, think about this. How could these add up to 22? 22 in three different cells can only be made up of 9, 8, 5, which is not possible because the bottom cell here can't be any of those, or 9, 7, 6. Now that is theoretically possible, but it puts a 6 here and a 7 here. And the problem with that is both of those digits require a 2 in these cells. The 7 would only appear as the complement to a 2 here. And the 6 here would be part of a 6 to 1 sum that would need a 2 here. So it is not this situation with a 4 and a 6, 7, 9, or you'd get two 2s there. That's lovely. So this is a 6. And now we do know that these three cells, I'm going to colour them as well, they add up to 19. And they don't have a 6 there, so we're under some pressure. This can't be a 1, or they'd have to add up to 18, and they'd both be 9s, and that's illegal. Uh, this is either a 4, and these add up to 15, and they can't be 6, 9, so they would then be 8, 7. Or it's a 3, and they add up to 16, and they're 9, 7. So there is definitely a 7 in play there. These three add up to 19. That's now not a 7, and now this is not the 2, 7 beginning in the 9 row. That's over this side. Lovely. Isn't that beautiful? 2, 7 there. This is a 3. And that's followed by a 1-5 pair, which we know the order of. Uh, the 5 didn't sort out that group. But this can't be a 3. This can't be a 1. Ooh, or a 6. Or a 2. Yeah, this is 3 or 4. Does this make that? Does that make this a 2-3-4 triple? Yes, it can't be 6, 2, 1 anymore because of this 6. It is a 2, 3, 4 triple. Um, and I don't know its order, do I? don't think I do. If I, if, if I do, I can't see how I know that. I've got 1, 7, 8 and 9 to fill the rest of the box. Oh, I haven't. I was going to populate these starting cells. Right, 30. Um, you cannot do it in four cells because the next three would have to add up to 26. That's too many. So this is at least a five, and it's not specifically a five. So it is six or seven. Now, that the outies, the, the, the numbers in this row that aren't in the sum, add up to 15, and there are either two cells there and they would then be 6 and 9, or they're 3 cells. I don't know the answer. Now, the 16 clue over here can't be a 1 or a 2. That doesn't give you enough to get to 16. It can certainly be a 3. It can certainly be a 4. It can't be a 5, not just because there's a 5 there, but because if you did it in five cells, they would be one, two, three, four, six, and not include a five. And then there's this 29 clue. Oh, and that's very interesting. Right, if this was a four, these three would add up to 25. That's too many. And we now know it can't be a five or a seven, so I think it has to be a six. Couldn't have been a seven anyway, because the outies would have been nine and seven. Right. So that lot adds up to 29. Take that away from 45. This group adds up to 16. Um, do we know about its makeup? It can't have both 9 and 8 in. But it must have one of them since it can't have 7 or 6. So it's either 9, 
852-943 or 853, I reckon. I, it's not worth pencil marking, but it was worth checking. Oh, and this 12 clue, I haven't even looked at that. This is a 3 or a 4 as well. Since we, yeah, it couldn't be 1 or 2, 5's too many. That's a pair. We've got the 30 sum, but I honestly don't think these highlighted diagonals are very helpful to me. Oh, we've got this nine trio. Uh, again, I don't know, it's not very helpful. I don't, I don't see why anything is ruled out. If it's five, one, three, that's a five. If it's six, one, two, no, if it's five, one, three, that's a five. If it's six, two, one, that's the six. But if it's two, four, three, there are various permutations possible. Seven is in one of those cells, so it's not there. Um, right, these add up to 15, or those do. Oh, if that's a 3, these add up to 13, and they're not 7, 6. No, I don't know. It's stuck at the moment. It's got to try and think of something else. Right, if this is 12, if that was a 4, this has to be 4, 1, 2, 5. If that's a 3, these two add up to 9. They're either 5, 7, or 4, 8. I don't know. Right, uh, I need this. This is a four, six, eight, nine quad, which is probably not interesting. But I do like a bit of pencil marking every now and then. Have I forgotten a clue somewhere? I don't know. Oh, that's three or four. Right, this is this is a three, four pair. Oh, and there's a three looking at that cell. Right, it's just Sudoku. Four there, three there. Right, these had to add up to. 19, so that's now a 9-7 pair. And then this isn't a 9, this is 8 or 1. This isn't a 3. Ah, so we know where 3 goes in the box, it's there. 3, 7, 9, 5, 6. 1 in this column is placed, it's there. That's a 2-4 pair. We've got a 4 looking at it. Why can't you just see things? That is now a 2-8 pair. That is 6-7 or 9. These are getting a bit high, but they can afford to go quite high. They're averaging 6 in the blue cells. That's become a 4. Ah, yes, and this is a 4-1-2-5 sum now. So that one's not a five. We've got one, eight, and six to place in box three. Two, eight, one, five, three. I just feel like I'm not even seeing some clue. Five, six, four, two, three, one, eight, seven, nine to place in the row. I mean, I guess I'm going to mark that with an X because once I fulfill this one, two, five triple, that clue is answered. Oh, and of course there's this and this are both done. That's effectively done as well. So most of the X sum clues are now done. This 16, If that's a three, I haven't really got any more information. If okay, forget that. These add up to nine to sixteen, not nineteen. They've got a nine in. Oh, and these add up to nine. Oh, well, these are getting a bit more interesting now. This one is three, four, or six. It sees one, two, and five. This one sees three, six, and five. <clears throat> oh, 
a little more interesting. Now these add up to 16 and they've got this sort of low digit here. They've got a nine or an eight. Can't quite see my way through that yet. Oh, this 12, I forgot this entirely. Oh, that's done, it's 291. Ah, yeah, sorry for being shouting about that. And the whole box is suddenly done. Now, what's that going to lead to? That can't be an eight. Two, five, six, one, three. These include a four. Oh, this is a one, seven, nine triple now. These include a four. They don't include an eight. Four, seven, and nine are the possibles. Let's have a quick look at the the green 29, seven, nah, I think it's, it's doable in various ways, so I'm not gonna spend long on that. There, I mean, I've done that set. Don't need the coloring there anymore. Um, 29, so these add up to 16. Is this the next important thing? No, maybe it's here. If that's a seven, this is a six, nine pair. And that's a nine then. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, I'm going to think about this. If this is a seven, this is a six nine pair with that being a nine. And then this needs an eight. It needs to be eight three five. So that would be the eight. This would be a three five pair. What would happen here? We couldn't have a six two one anymore because we've got a three or five in it. It's going to be two three four then. Four, three, two, in that order. I don't know. That's frustrating. That's very close to breaking. If this is a six, those add up to 15. And I suppose, again, you do them with a nine or an eight. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to get to the root of that. Maybe I do need to think of, I mean, the yellow 26, that, that is a little... It is quite a low number for this number of cells, but there's so little restriction on any of them at the moment that I don't really think I can compute something out of that. The 16 in purple... I was wondering about holistic total between those, but I mean, 15 is the minimum there. That still leaves a maximum of eight here, which is not very restrictive. Gosh, sorry, I'm a bit stuck here. I need to come up with something clever in a moment. Five, two, 26, that's done. So this isn't done. We're going to find an orange total of 16. And this. Maybe, okay, let's look at green again. Let's look at green again. Ah, oh, that's quite interesting. If this isn't one, then one's in one of those cells. And then this is one. That's really weird because of this one seven nine triple and this one two five triple sharing this box. At least one of these is a one. Seven eight. But then there's still four cells left to make the twenty nine total, and four cells which would add up to twenty one that 29 total, I don't know. One of these is a six, that's just Sudoku. Okay. 
There's a four over here. I don't know what I'm doing really. I'm just trying to find something to hang a hat on. Get us going again. Uh, I'm struggling a bit, basically. What's James got in this puzzle that I just can't see? Four, one, two, five. That can't be a four. This is seven, eight, or nine by elimination generally. Okay, I'm going to think about this yet again. Seven there. So we're left with 22 in green. I don't know, it's, it's, it's not... Maybe there's a problem if, if we have a 9 in it. Maybe we're getting too high. If that was a 9, that's already up to 16, then these would have to add to 13. I don't know, 1651 works, so it's not... it doesn't... And you could still have a 3 in those cells. It doesn't look very successful, sorry. Um, Right, let's think again about this being a 7 and this being 6, 6, 9. That does force that to be a 4. And a 9 here makes this 8, 3, 5. That's what we worked out. This was quite restrictive, actually. If this is 8, 3, 5 with a 7 here, 6 here, 9 here, then we've got 1, 2, 4 for the rest. That might fail on the strength of two fours here. Right, let's think about this. Eight, three, five here. I think we worked out that makes this a two, three, four total. It can't be six, two, one, and it can't be one, three, five. So, that's the two, that's the three, that is a four. So if we have eight, three, five here, that is a four. We've also got seven, six, nine. This is one, two, or four. Now, for this to be a three, the only way that could work, because we're not allowed a four anymore, is if this is three, four, nine. I can't see that that could just work, and therefore probably does. 349 does add up to 16. Oh, it's close though. It's right on the edge. Now, what would happen to this, which is meant to add up to another 14? I don't know. Well, I, that would be, well, it would be three or five. No, I'm just missing something. I'm sorry. What am I missing? Somebody knows. Are they going to tell me? Five, six, nine, four, one, seven, nine. Can that be a nine? Then we've got seven, one there, two, five there. If that's a nine, that's a one. Ten, fifteen, seventeen. These would have to add up to twelve. That would have to be a three, and there'd be nine left. That doesn't actually work, but it is blinking complicated to see that. And I don't know that the benefit of ruling a nine out there is worth the slight risk that I would attach to my, my mental calculations there. Because it's quite hard to see, basically. That's actually quite a good way of defining what is a bifurcation too far is. If you can't even be sure that the maths you've done is right, then it's probably a good idea not to rely on it. Um, and I mean, that's very obvious when stated in that way. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at this one again. 
Now, if this was a 9, that has to be a 9 by Sudoku. That's interesting. Then these would add up to 7. But they have plenty of scope to do that. Ah. No, I can't see it. Oh, what am I missing now? Come on, Mark. Can't be meant to be this difficult. And James is, is foxy, but he's not, he's not a bad cop. James is more a good cop. Um, oh, look, this can't be a one. I haven't marked that in a long time. Probably doesn't matter at all. Six, seven, one, five, four, two, nine, eight, three, still to place. Okay, this is either, okay, let's think about what if this is a six. Then this adds up to 15, and, oh look, it can't have an eight in. That's really interesting. I don't know if this is gonna matter, but I was assuming that this group of cells that would add up to 15 if that was a six could either have an eight or a nine in. But if it had an eight in, it would either be eight, Five two impossible because of that. Eight six one impossible because we're positing a six there. Or eight three four impossible because it breaks that cell. So there is a definitely a nine here somewhere. Now it couldn't be nine two four. So it's either nine five one or a six nine pair. That's really interesting. Nine five one is possible. Uh, I shouldn't really fill this cell with possible digits because that is not restricted. If that's a 6-9 pair, this can be anything, or can it? If that's a 6-9 pair, this is 7, that's 4. Wow, well, this couldn't be 2. This would either be 1, 5, or 8. 8 is possible, as, lo as well as the 9 in the 9, 5, 1 triple. So, 9 is in one of those, it's not here. This is a little bit more restricted than I realized. If that's 951, this is a 2. Then this is 51, that's 79, that's 1. We'd have a 1, 2, 5, 2 here. 5, 7, 9, 10. These would add up to 19. Now nah, that's doable. But if it's 69, that's a 7, that's a 4. Oh, and there is a nine in one of those cells. This is not a nine at all. There is definitely now a nine in one of these two. Ah, nearly, come on, come on. This is, we're getting somewhere now. I feel, I feel like we've made a little bit of progress. Three in this row has to be in one of those two cells. So three is definitely in the 16 sum, even if it begins with a four. Couldn't be four, three, two, seven, because you couldn't get one of those into this box. So it would be four, three, eight, one, or three, eight, five. Can't be three, four, nine anymore, because nine's up there. So this is either 358 or 385. Or it goes 4, 3, well, these would be 1, 3, and 8. Oh, so 8 must be used somewhere in this group. Wow, and that's not an 8. We get another digit, finally. That's a 2. That's an 8. This is not an eight. Oh, you see, I want to say this is now clearly a one, five, nine, triple, but not necessarily. It could be six and nine. Five, eight, four, three, one. Or one, it can't be one, five, nine. Oh no, this is not necessarily a five, eight, triple, sorry. Because these could involve one or three. This could be a four and then one, three, eight, triple.
Oh, it's so close to being being really right on the money and giving us something. If it's 4138, you've got two, five would be in one of those cells. If it is 358, well, if it's 358, it has to go with a 6 9 pair there because you can't have a 5 here. If it's from 4138, Well, it's, that is possible. Wow, I just cannot see my way through this. I'm so sorry. Is there something going on down here now with this pencil marking that's going to get fixed? Ah, 835 down here, which is one of the options, forces that to be a 1 and that to be a 9 and that to be a 4 and that to be a 2. 835. It can't be 835. It can't be 835 because we worked out that would be a 2 and that would be a 4. And this would be a 3 with a 5 8 pair. And how are you going to fit a 5 8 pair in there with an 835 down here? Right. Done it. Well, done something. There's a 9 in this pair. This, this adds up to 16, including a 9. It's either. 952 or 934. And that's not a 9. 952 would make. Oh, come on, give me something. Now. 952 would allow this to be 351 in that order. 934 would have a 3 here and would not allow any possibility here. Because 934 would use up the 4, so this couldn't be 234. And it can't be 531 because they can't be 5s. This has to be 952. Has to be. This is huge. This is actually... Hang on, hang on. What have I just done in that central cell? That is 2 or 5. It is 952, right. Two. That's a 259 triple. That's not 2. This can still be 351 or 621. It can't have a 4 in. So... We've got 952 has made that a 1. This isn't and that isn't. This is now not 69, so it's the 915 triple going with the 6 over that side. Wow, that has been difficult, but I'm delighted to get through that bit. This is now a 3 8 pair, so that's a 4. 4, 12, 15, that's a 1 to make up the 16 sum. I can get some X's out now. I've done that column once I've got the 952 triple, I've done that row. I've done all, uh, yes, I've done this row. I've done all the X-sum clues I have. Okay, that's become a two. Oh, well, that's going to be interesting for the greens, isn't it? Look at the greens now. Now, this is all definite, so that adds up to 10. These remaining greens add up to 19. We don't have a five possibility in those cells. In fact, let's see what we do have. <clears throat> Four, seven, nine, one, five. 2, 3, and 8 are possible here. And 2, 3, 6, and 8, I think, in this row. Now, these three, what did I say they add up to? 19. So a 9 is possible there with a 2, 8 pair. 7 would need two of these to add up to 12, and there's no way. And 4 would need two of these to add up to 15, and there's no way. So that's a 9. Brilliant. Brilliant. Seven, four, box six is done. And what did we need these to have forgotten already? We need them to add up to 10. I think they have to be two and eight in some order. And therefore this is three and that's six. 
And I think we're going to get done suddenly now. I, I mean, I, I may be getting a little ahead of myself, a little rash here, but I'm excited. Can't contain it. Good old Sudoku. If you don't get excited by Sudoku, why are you watching the channel? Um, oh, and I've had a disaster here. Okay, I'm going to have to go back to when I said that this 9 calculation on the left, bother, this is a long way back, I said it had to be, I don't know what I said it had to be, but we got to there, didn't we? That was where we got to. We got this 952 triple, and I said this was 351. But why can't it be 2, 3, 4? I think I said it couldn't. But I think it can. It can be 3, 5, 1 or 2, 3, 4. Or 6, 2, 1. Okay. There is no... There is no ability to do anything there. But... Was that what gave me this thing? I don't think it was. This can't be part of 6-9 anymore, so it's part of the 159 triple. That's still right. Okay, I think I can repeat all of these steps that I just did, because I think they're all still genuine. That's a 2. 7-9-1. Look, we've still got this thing going on here. Let's fill in the candidates here, just as I did a moment ago, because I think it's still right. 2-3-8. 2-3-6-8. These have... These greens, remaining greens, have to add to 19. Four there won't let it happen. Seven there would need these two to add to 12. And that can't work with those possibles. So it's still right. That's a nine. Thank goodness. Sorry about whatever I did down here that was not a bona fide conclusion. These have to add to 10. They are two and eight. And I can put in three and six and three here. This is still all right. That's a seven. That does 9 and 7. Now, I don't have this clash. 1 is not there. And I think this has to be 3, 2, 4 now. There's no 1 in it, basically. So it is 3, 2, 4. And I know the order. Yes, this still allows this to be a 4. These can't have 1 or 5 in, so that's a 1. Okay, I'm going to restore all my Xs because I have done these. I had done them right if we allow for the fact that I had not calculated these possibilities correctly, but I have now. 952 makes that a 1. 9 there, 5 there, that's right. This is a 6. 4, 8, 9, 6 and 5 here. Oh, well, sorry about that. That was an ugly mess now. 7... 10, 15, these two add up to 15 with 7 or 8 there and therefore 8 or 7 here and it can't be a 7. Brilliant. 8 there, 7 there. We're going to finish this off now. 9 and 8. These can't be 8s and that can't be... Right, let us get rid of some colouring because we've done blue, we've done green, we've done orange... Okay, still purple and yellow to go. This has become a five now. Uh, that's a two, that's a one. I must be able to finish off purple. They add up to nine and need a seven. That's six, that's eight, three, eight there. Three and four at the top. Seven and eight below. Two and eight at the top. Two and nine. Four, nine, eight. Six, four. Let's check the yellow sum, which has just done itself by Sudoku. And it is right. 26. Hurrah. Um, and we'll get rid of purple as well. There we go. And a one and a five to put in. And there we go. <laughs> that is James's seeing double. So if you wrote a comment to explain that I'd miseliminated the nine here, then uh, feel free to... 
either leave it there or add a comment that you've now seen I went back and fixed it. <laughs> but apologies for doing that. And what a clever puzzle, just under 40 minutes. I probably wasted about five of those with the error, maybe not even that long actually, because the deductions came fairly thick and fast after that point. What was it that I got hung up on that I wasn't seeing? Oh no, it was very difficult. I think working this stuff out so that that couldn't be a 5-8 pair if that was 8-3-5. That was quite hard. I'm pleased to get through this. Um, and as I say, we'll be posting the other part. I'll have posted the other puzzle on Patreon by the time you see this. Give it a go. And thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.